Piper. I'm not sure exactly what kind of dog it is, but it's cute. Um, obviously, it's, uh, it's adoption week, pet adoption week in Nashville here. So, you know, as a Titans organization, obviously, we, you know, and our owner is really big on pet adoption, especially with dogs. So uh, I want to show some love to that this week, and hopefully we can get as many dogs adopted as possible. Playing the Colts again, second time in three weeks. I mean, you know, I imagine, you know, not a whole lot changes, you know, between the first meeting and the second meeting. You, go, you know these guys so well going in, right? Yeah, I mean, we know what type of matchups this is going to be. Two teams that's built the same exact way. Obviously, they're going to want to get their get back for sure. They know, you know, I think we've beaten them four straight times. So, obviously, that sun is being pumped into their minds every single day. So, we're going to expect their best out there at our home stadium. You look at what, you know, Matt Ryan was able to do last week, throwing the ball 58 times, no turnovers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he had time to throw, but, you know, a couple of receivers had double-digit catches. Yeah. I mean, it goes to show a veteran quarterback like that, you let him give time in the pockets. Yeah, I say that for anybody, any quarterback in this league, if you give them time back there, they can dice you up. So with quarterbacks like Matt Ryan or whoever it may be, you have to force them to make mistakes. And just watching him last week, obviously, threw for almost 400 yards, three touchdowns. It looked like the Matt Ryan that we all know, especially when he was in Atlanta throwing for a ton of yards. When you give him some time back there, he'll dice you up. So we have to force him out of his comfort zone, force him off his spot, force him to get the moving around back there. Uh, then I think we'll be able to affect him in the right way. We can get him off the spot and move him around. What is the like challenge? Yeah, about to say he's a big body guy, and obviously he makes most of his his yards after the catch. Because like you said, he's big, he's strong, he breaks arm tackles and things like that. So uh, we just have to make sure when he do catch the ball, because a lot of short routes you're not gonna be able to defend sometimes. But if he does catch the ball, we got to catch and tackle him. About any other team we play against, you know, we, it's about us, you know, because we're a close team. We like to be close. We know we know that they are they're a team that won't quit. Um, they could be down 28 points and they'll find a way to try to come back and uh, win the game. So, you know, it's always great playing against a team like that because they know us, we know them, and um, I look forward to playing the coach each and every year. What's the, uh, what's the shirt you got on? Uh, um, I don't know. I don't want to pronounce the name wrong. Lalo, I think that's the name. But you know, um, this uh, adoption week here in Tennessee. And, um, you know, this is, this is a nice looking dog here. So, hey, you, you know, you want to adopt a dog here in Tennessee. Lalo is available. Make sure you guys go get him. But, yeah, this adoption week here in Tennessee. Um, so, in Nashville, Tennessee. So, you know, make sure you guys go, you know, look, at, look into the adoption week. That's it. I um, you know, and I said it Monday. I think that um, the Jaguar did figure out later in the game, you know, trying to affect the quarterback. Um, you know, because he, you know, from the film I did watch, you know, it might didn't show up on the stat book, but you know, they was finding ways to try to get in the pocket. They just didn't do it enough. And, and then when you playing against a quarterback like Matt Ryan, you know, you don't want to have no one behind him because that's what he wants. So in order for us to, you know, disrupt his timing and um, affect them, we have to get in the middle of the pocket. And I think that's what we have done better here in Tennessee, especially, you know, since I've been here, by getting in, in the middle of the pocket because it's an emphasis, um, especially at practice throughout the week. And guys getting their hands up trying to get better ball, you know, it, it's, it shows, you know, like with um, Tark, you know, he leading the team in whatever it is with pad um, deflection. So stuff like that, what we talk about, as a team, as a defense, you know, it shows up on the field. So um, our goal this weekend is to try to affect the uh, middle of the pocket by, you know, getting into the pocket, affect the throwing lane. My return time. So um, they did a great job of just making sure that I was ready to go and make sure I was healthy. You were able a bit to, to go. I mean, is it, and good to be back in the in the flow. And what's the challenge this week against the Colts? Um, good team, fast team. I mean, uh, they didn't have the running backs last week, but we're anticipating that they're going to get them back and they'll continue to run the ball. Um, but we do got to be aware of you know Ryan throwing the ball as well. You were able to finish the game, I guess, in which it happened. Did you? Did it? Did the symptoms not occur until afterwards? That sort of thing. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it, honestly, it just felt like a little bit of like a regular kind. Contact. You know, I didn't really feel much during the game, but you know, after the game, it was kind of it was hard for me to look into the light. You know, sensitive to, to noise and all that type of stuff. Yeah. With that, is it, it you know is it maybe adrenaline that kind of helps you finish a game when you when you have something like that? And have you had concussions before in your career? Um, I had I had one. You know, when I was younger, back in like eighth and ninth grade. Um, but definitely, I mean, I think it does play a factor about the adrenaline running. 
Um, I think it's just different with each guy. I mean, some guys, it happens, they might, it might affect their judgment. Um, but for me, in that instance, you know, I was able to finish the game. And, and the symptom for you was mostly light. Was there, you know, were you dealing with headaches? Or yeah, headaches? I, I had headaches, um, dizziness, um, blurred vision, that type of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. I got I'm late to the party here, but uh, just getting through the protocol and all that stuff. How good mm -hmm. you feel to, you know, be back? It feels great. Um, it was a long, you know, long three weeks. Um, I needed that bye week. So that bye week helped me out. Yeah. Um, but definitely feels good to be back out there with my, my guys. You know, facing a team like the Colts, I mean, it, you know, they, they did a good job of adjusting last week. Mm -hmm. Both their stud running backs out, you know, ran through the ball 58 times, didn't yeah. turn the ball over. I mean, how impressed were, were you with how they were able to kind of pivot their offense and what they normally do? Yeah, they were able to make an adjustment. And, um, they, didn't, they didn't take too many shots down the field uh, when they did. It was, you know, 50-50 balls, and they end up number 14. Pierce, he ended up winning at the end of the game and it allowed them to win the game. But, you know, they did a great job of, you know, picking up where the running back left off. Hulk? Yeah. Big dog guy right here. Huge. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's a testament to, to the way he, he plays. You know, he's he's a dog out there. Uh, he you know he'll step in the pocket, he he'll take hits, he does it all. Are you really a big dog guy? Yeah, big dog guy. Adopt don't shop. I got my dog from a rescue about a year and a half ago. Shout out Winston. Yep, shout out Winston. Uh, so if anybody's looking to get a dog, I definitely would advise him to adopt instead of shopping for it. Playing these guys again, second time in, in three weeks. I mean, it's not going to be a lot of secrets, right? I mean, they know you, you know them, even before playing them so close together, right? Yeah, uh, you know, you know what to expect. They know what to expect. It's just going to be about who goes out there and performs the best. How about just the opportunity to, you know, put two wins over the Colts before it's even Halloween? Yeah, a huge opportunity just to go one and zero. Uh, but it's a little, little extra just because, you know, it's against the Colts, against a division rival, uh, and be able to get a jump start, you know, on making the playoffs. Tell us about Hulk. Do Hulk? Do I don't know any info about Hulk. Uh, he looks like my kind of dog, though. Great smile. Uh, so, yeah, I just love dogs more than anything. <laughs> I used to, I used to uh, do Rover back in college. Um, because I couldn't have a dog, I didn't have time, but I would just, you know, dog sit basically for free. I would set my rates like stupid cheap just so I could watch dogs for free. <laughs> uh, you know, know some guys during training, uh, Senior Bowl, like Malik, Roger, I know all those guys. So, you know, them being there for me, being a mentor, even though we are the same age, just getting me adjusted to the system, and it, it, it's, it's highly favorite. Hey, what's it like? You know, a couple of days ago, you're walking around a complex that had Jaguars over mm -hmm. the building, and now you got Titans logos. I mean, what, what is that like? Switching logos, kind of in season. Uh, obviously, it happened fast. So you I mean, I kind of just tried to adjust to it, uh, make make whatever counts, and you know, get here. Like I said, learn the system and. You know, it, it, it feels weird, you know, just coming from a different team, joining another team, but everybody right here, they make you feel like family right when you walk in, and I appreciate that.